DMR is digital mobile radio. And like what the label on the tin says is that this is a purely digital form of transmission. And one of the benefits of DMR right out of the box is the fact that it uses TDMA or time division multiple access. And this means is that we can have multiple voice transmissions happening at the exact same time on the exact same frequency without one transmission interrupting or interfering with the other. DMR supports two channel TDMA. So you can have one user on time slot one and one user on time slot two, and the radio is alternating back and forth over time between these two time slots. And that's how we double our capacity on a TDMA frequency. Now to really understand the evolution of TDMA, we have three tiers. Tier one is the simplest basic version of DMR. This is basically a license-free radio to radio, point to point communication. Think simplex. Tier two is when we start to add in repeaters. This is where we start to get into basic talk groups, linked repeaters. And again, this is also conventional only at this point. And eventually we get to tier three. Now tier three is trunking. So let's break down tier two and tier three into some buzzwords that you might have heard. So with tier two conventional, right? This is basically through a repeater system and you can have repeaters that are linked together. You can have talk groups. So you can isolate local conversations and area wide conversations just by assigning each use to a talk group. And then we start getting into the evolution between tier two and tier three. We have like Hytera XPT and Motorola capacity plus. This was basically where you had a heartbeat signal or a beacon signal that went out over one of the repeater outputs. And the next voice channel would be granted the next available frequency to be used in the repeater stack or the frequency layout of the repeater system. You had multiple talk groups and time slots. And this was a great bridge between conventional and full on trunking. And then in the tier three world, we had the Motorola Connect Plus, which was eventually phased out into capacity max. This is where we have control channels, we have talk groups, we have time slots, and we have a full wide, large geographical area that can be linked together through trunked radio sites. So do you have DMR in your area? Do you listen to DMR? And if so, what are you listening to with DMR? Leave me a comment below. And if you have any questions about this type of technology, let me know and I'll be sure to come back and answer them for you.